play. <laughs> Never had to get on a plane. Two games, four nights. I mean, they got here late Thursday night after the overtime loss. They should be going into this game 3-0 and on the road. But with eight-tenths of a second, Portland inbounded that ball in overtime. And Brandon Roy hit a 30-footer. They got what they deserved. I mean, they should be. <laughs> they lost. They deserved to lose. I do. I do. You if you can't in. protect the lead, you deserve to lose. In. So the Lakers take care of business tonight. Andrew Bynum with 13 and 7 with those three blocks. The Drew doing a good job from start to finish. And a lot of minutes out there. 33 for Andrew Bynum. Andrew Bynum on cue. Take it, buddy. Now Trevor Reza. Kobe on the line. Yes! They love it! Lakers by 24 making a statement of the second half. I just don't understand why Kobe's on the floor. I mean... Well, it's, you got a timeout coming inside of three, and he won't. I don't care. <laughs> you got to believe he asked. Our cats. I mean, he wants to play all 48. But that's why you're the coach. You determine who plays and wins. Nobody stopped the ball, and Ariza saves it. That was like a travel. He said, "I want a three to myself." Trevor gets the three. Pretty impressive second half, guys. And holding the Rockets to 40%. So the Lakers getting it together offensively. Head, he can only shoot way outside. That was way too close to the basket for him. Lamar and Aaron Brooks out there in time to go the other way. And hopefully Lamar's okay. That was a crack landing. Lakers lead by 24. Well, it all starts with the Lakers defense again tonight. They struggled at the beginning, but their defense has been pretty consistent throughout. Mar said, Stu, just a few days ago, he said at first it was humbling, but for the good of the organization, he will do whatever is needed. And we've been around Lamar Odom long enough to know. Uh, that's typical Lamar. Whatever it takes. Joey Dorsey just checked in, and so did Josh Powell for the Lakers. Luke Walton out there as well. And Chris Mim was the last two points. Sasha. Right there, out there. He's checked back in deep. Green Farmer for the short. Mim, nice bounce. Taken away by Brooks and off Mim. But good to see Chris healthy. Yeah, good rebound attempt as he tried to get control, but he brought it down and from the blind side, from the behind, the little midget took the ball out of his hands. Yeah, over the first four. I guess I, excuse me, I guess I couldn't, shouldn't call him a little midget. But when you're only 5'10 or so, and you're out there with seven footers, when I was playing, when they get a switch onto a big one, they say, I got a little one. Hey, sets it up. Man, a shot clock violation. That is emblematic of what the Lakers have done in the second half, though. Only 32 points in the second half for the Houston Rockets, and that is totally shutting down the opposition as our test. <laughs> 2 of 11, McGrady 1 of 11, so 2 for 22. Misery loves company over there. <laughs> that was a tough night for those two. Yeah, it's a tough night for their whole club. The Lakers show that they are going to be very, very consistent, hopefully, with their defensive pressure. Josh Powell face up game. He's got great he, he throw. Does. Yeah, he does. He really has got nice He has throw. got a nice touch. Lakers led by two at the half. You came into the second half. They were down by 16 in the first half, by the way. They lead it by 29. They have shown an ability to put together massive runs early this first five games of the season. And, and that's the thing that if they can continue on any kind of consistent basis with that, that's what's going to get into the opposition's mind. They're going to be coming to games. Games are going to be going along. It's going to be a close game. And in the back of the opposition's minds, they're thinking, when is the run coming? When is the run coming? we got to prevent the run. got to prevent the run. Right now, after the Rockets had an early run, and most of it came off Laker turnovers because at one point they were 17 to 2 off Laker mistakes. But the Lakers cleaned up their act. Second unit, big part of it in the second quarter. What a luxury to have this kind of depth and balance and have the guys buying into it. Now it's early, and Phil Jackson has also said it's too early for any of these guys to worry about minutes. It all works itself out. Well, it does, and as long as you're winning, things are always nice. So let's just hope the Lakers can keep uh, 
a very consistent winning record. Pick and roll. Chris Mim from Sasha. Well, good thing Chris Mim has some soft hands. That was not an easy pass to handle. Uh, a straight pass, eye level, in traffic. But he gobbled it up. And the Lakers hold their opponents to 85 over the first four. They've done it again. Walton on the deflection. It's 82 right now. Lose her head deep into the clock. He jumps in. It's going to be Brooks trying to get to 80. And Chris Mim with the board. Lakers can get it across. And they've done it again defensively. He just hatch it. Yeah. It's over. As the Lakers win it by 29 points. What a beginning. So they did it at both ends of the floor in the second half. It was ugly at the outset offensively. They couldn't get it straight. They corrected it in a hurry, though, and they prevailed in a big way. Kobe finished with 23 to lead the guy, but Kyle Gasol, what a complete effort. It was just a good effort by the entire team. Uh, that second unit came in, gave the Lakers a nice boost when they were uh, struggling a bit, and from there, it was all downhill. So the Lakers win it convincingly, 111-82, to as we head downstairs to Patrick O'Neill. Patrick, I just said to Pau Gasol.